question, very short topic. It simply means like when someone searches for German cake cups, okay, you are uh, selling cake, uh, cake cups. The name of the business is cupcakes, but they have German chocolate uh, cupcakes, okay. So when someone search with this particular keyword, your uh, ad will be shown along with that keyword. Here you can see this is dynamic keyword insertion, DKI. When you see dynamic, that means keep changing. That is not fixed. Dynamic simply means that uh, allow the ability to change as per the situation. So when someone is looking for cupcakes, okay, and you have multiple ad and on that ad you have different keywords and one of the keyword was German chocolate cupcakes, okay, and that person comes to Google and search for German chocolate cupcakes. So your ad will become there in front of the screen, okay, just like that. This link is clickable because the headline in the headline, they can easily see the exact keyword that they were looking for. Okay, so uh, in simple language, we can say DKI is uh, let you automatically update your headline, your ad with the relevant keyword that or with the same keyword the visitor is looking for. For example, if you have another example. So uh, another example is like uh, uh, a company has multiple mobile phones, okay, and uh, they have different models as well. But someone search for Galaxy series, okay, for a particular brand. So when you have a same keyword Galaxy series and you are using that keyword in a dynamic way, and you are just putting the DIY insertion on your heading. So when someone search for Galaxy, the Galaxy series will be shown in the headline. It simply means if the search query, if the keyword that the person is looking and your ad uh, group has that particular keyword, then the ad uh, will be shown along with that keyword. In simple language, we can say that the ad will be triggered, the ad will show the keyword that is triggered by them. Yani simple hai, this keyword ne ad trigger kiya, wo show hoga. And we will see the example in detail for this. For example here, it is a shopping ad, but uh, just try to focus on single ad. Like, I search for Samsung M21. This is a series of Samsung Galaxy uh, and this is a model of Samsung. And here you can see it shows me M21 here, Samsung Galaxy M21 here. So in dynamic uh, keyword insertion, we can see that the keyword that cause the ad to trigger comes in the screen. And I will show a um, practical example of that after uh, this in the dashboard so that you can easily understand this. It simply means the keyword that trigger the ad will be show, um, shown in the screen. And you use a query, you use a simple formula to uh, um, use the uh, DKY feature. So what are the advantages of that? First thing is you, you have to understand that when someone is searching for a particular product with uh, a search query and that particular word comes in the ad, then it makes that relevant to them. They find that ad relevant to them. Okay. Another thing is it increases the CTR because the customer find it relevant, then definitely your CTR will be going to increase. And if the CTR is increasing, then definitely your quality score will increase. Getting the point? These are the advantages of DKI. You, do you have any doubt on this? Any one of them? So your ad will be triggered by these three keywords. 
Okay. Now in the headline, you mentioned and uh, how to use that? You can use in the curly brackets. Curly brackets, you have to write keyword or uh, with column. This is the simple function. Okay. When you use this on headline, then Google understand that when uh, the ad is triggered by these three keywords, how your ad triggered? Your ad triggered with keywords. So definitely it will be triggered by German ad cake cups, Indian cake cups or eggless cake cups. These are the three keywords in your ad group. But someone's come to the Google and they search uh, Indian cake cups. Which keyword to trigger that? The Indian cupcakes. Okay. So Indian cupcakes trigger the ads. And as we use the function of DKI on headline, then on the headline, they will see Indian cupcakes. And uh, when someone comes on Google, they search for eggless cupcakes. Then the eggless cupcakes cause uh, the ad to show on the screen. So now the eggless cupcake trigger the ad. The eggless cupcake will shown in the screen in the headline. Yes. Yeah, so this is DKI, and you can understand its advantages advantages as well because now visitor is seeing the actual uh, term that is looking for on the ad like i am looking for an indian cupcake and when i search on that an ad comes in my screen that says indian cupcakes so i find it relevant and definitely it increased the ctr um, and the quality score so that's why it is beneficial so i i am repeating again this the um, uh, dynamic keyword insertion it's a function through which you can show the keyword to the user, which caused the ad to trigger. Let's suppose you have an ad group on that ad group. First, you have a campaign in campaign, you have ad group. Okay. On ad group, you have multiple keywords. So here I give you an example that in my ad group, I use three keywords, Indian cupcake, German cupcake, and eggless cupcakes. So, these are the three keywords that will trigger my ad in the Google. Okay. So whenever a search query happens and that search query is relevant to the keyword, then my ad will be triggered. So let's suppose the German cupcake uh, is the search query of the user and that trigger the ad because that particular word is in my keyword section. So my keyword would be comes to the headline. Uh, I have an example here as well. You can easily understand from this. The user comes on the Google search query and they type this. This is a type of uh, printer 922-91A toner cartridge. And this particular ad is active with uh, DKI function. So here you can see it is in bold. So when the search query happens, Google check the entire ad and HP has the keyword in their ad section that says 922918 eight toner. This is the type of printer and they use as a keyword. So definitely here they use the keyword function, DKI function. That's why the ad is trigger and along with the ad trigger, they, uh, the Google ads show the particular keyword that caused the ad to trigger. In Google AdWords, when you create your ad, you have to mention the ad copy as well as the keyword. So here you can see uh, PPC management may be a keyword. So uh, this website, this advertiser embedded this keyword in their ad copy in their uh, ad group. So along with that, they use the DKI function. So they mention the function here and uh, the further detail in the front of after the functions. So when PPC management query happens, uh, Google check and the PPC management keyword in uh, his ad group triggers the ad. And as PPC management keyword triggers the ad, it comes to the headline. For example, if this particular uh, advertiser uh, has Google ads in uh, 
their ad group. After the PPC management, the second keyword they use Google AdWords. When search query happens for Google AdWords, then definitely here you may see Google AdWords because they have that keyword. Got it? So there are some kind of rule as well in DKI function because uh, let's suppose if your keyword is very long, okay, that causes the triggers, but the headline is limited. You like in the previous uh, uh, section, we can see this is the entire character that is available for the headline. Okay, this is the entire headline, but let's suppose this is 30 character, complete 30 character, but maybe there may be a uh, keyword that says well done ppc management best ppc management so when we are using ppc management keyword this uh, headline becomes for 30 characters and it is allowed but when the ad is triggered by best ppc management then what will happen the headline will be become longer because 30 characters are available but that keyword that trigger that is long so dki cannot show that particular keyword on that condition it show a default keyword or a default word that you mention on that so just this is the basic i will show you practically